This is KRQE News 13 with Dick Niffing and Jessica Gattete. Another shipment of swine flu vaccine is supposed to get to New Mexico in the next few days. But a lot of the people who need it the most and who are supposed to get it first say it's still impossible to find. We sent News 13's Kim Vias to find out why. I'm trying to get an H1N1 vaccine. I'm pregnant and I haven't been able to find one. I am one of the people in the high risk category and have been looking for a vaccine for two weeks with no luck. I tried again today. <laughs> Making call. After call. Thank you for calling Women's Specialists of New Mexico. After call. Thank you for calling Presbyterian. And got similar answers. Okay, the thing is, right now we don't have any, but we're taking names down and we would call you and we got a shipment in. It's not like I have a database where I can track to see what the stock supply is for each facility. Do you guys have any H1N1 vaccine available? No, we're not going to be getting it in. At all? At all. Why is this so hard? Well, that's a tough one. Um, we're trying to come up with a, a process to figure out how do we get this information out to the public. We don't release individual provider names because uh, the expectation for providers is that they will take care of their patients. The Department of Health says it's been a frustrating process for them, too. Each day, they're told by the CDC how many doses are available for order. It takes a day to get an order in and one to two days to ship. They say most of the shipments have been small and have been used to vaccinate health care workers and hospitalized patients. But they say there are signs it's getting better. This week it's looking like we're getting um, a little bit more vaccine coming to us. They might be right. After another hour of trying to get a vaccine for myself today. Okay. Thank you so much, Diane. I appreciate it. Okay. Okay. Bye. -bye. I found one. Kim Baez, KRQE News 13. A State Department of Health spokesperson says as of yesterday, they have ordered 98,000 doses. The majority of those have already been distributed and used. The rest of those 98,000 doses are still en route to New Mexico. The state says health care providers and public health offices will get the vaccines before pharmacies like Walgreens.